Howdy, welcome to Trekopolis. My name is Scott, and if you haven't discovered my channel yet, where you been? So in this video, I'm gonna do an update on my windscreen that I bought probably over a year ago. Now that I've ridden the bike for a while, I wanna show or kind of explain the comparisons between the stock windscreen and this new windscreen that I bought. Should you even upgrade your windscreen? So what are some of the benefits of a windscreen anyway? So the idea behind a windscreen is it reflects the air up and over the, your torso and your head. And so why is the windscreen adjustable on the Honda ADV and many other bikes? I pretty much keep my windscreen at the same level as far as the adjustment. I always have it straight up and out because it seems to reflect more air. But I wanna do a test. So when we get on the road here, I wanna show a comparison with the windscreen adjusted in the different positions, just to kind of get a feel for where the airflow is. So the benefits of a windscreen, what, what does it achieve? Number one, it reduces fatigue. Number two, it keeps you drier in the rain, believe it or not, and I'll explain why. Number three, it directs the bugs over your head. Number four, it protects you from road debris. Number five, it just looks cool. So feeling the wind through your hair is a personal preference, but there's actually a reason why manufacturers put windscreens on motorbikes. Yeah, so this is, this is more of a get a better visual of it right here. I did put some graphics on there. As you notice, I changed my, if you have noticed, I changed my um, Trekopolis image i'm starting to rebrand myself as far as and i'll explain why later got some cool stuff coming down the road so that's kind of an old image but that's i'm aries if you don't know what that is that's uh birth mark both birth month of aries which is april but yeah these holes right here i don't know you can see a little closer now that it has the honda there's an adv 150 <laughs> there's a crow a couple crows I guess they're following me from the park maybe but I have a video on this there's four screws or four bolts to take this off I guess you call them bolts screws um, and if you check up at the link there right around here I'm gonna put a link to the video where you actually I show myself installing this so check it out but there you go it is pretty sharp it comes up I'm gonna go back to the garage and I'm going to show you the differences but I've been pleased with it the graphics on this thing if you can see kind of like the lines and stuff I just wish again I wish these yellow markings I really wish that was done in red that would look so sh just so nice but the material is an acrylic and it's about the same thickness as the stock shield the company is PSLER. That's the name of the company that sells this. I tried to I tried to research that company name and I really could not find much on it. But you know, when you look at the reviews on this windscreen, it's 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 real positive. So it's not a huge deal, but I just couldn't find much on the company. One thing I did want to show is with some windscreens, you gotta be careful. Because when you turn your handlebars, see this one does not this one does not interfere with the mirrors you can see I'm turning the mirror all handlebars left and right all the way and I would say you got a good maybe about an inch between the uh, gap right here now there are some windscreens I've seen them online I've seen other videos where people have had to install mirror extenders because when they turn their handlebars the the windscreen I guess was a little taller than this one and they couldn't it would probably hit I don't know how far but they had to put some risers or extenders on their mirrors so just keep that in mind this one's fine but there are some out there that are a little bit taller or wider I guess and they will hit your mirror so just be careful with that not that it's a huge deal the extenders on mirrors are probably a good idea regardless because I would like to have mine up a little bit more so but that's fine this one's good it doesn't interfere with the mirrors right right like that see so that's cool so if you're interested in this windscreen i'll have the link below if you go to the uh, trek shop i have everything kind of categorized as far as for the adv 150 just basic motorcycle accessories 
kind of like my Amazon storefront so check it out if you like this one there's other ones on the market like I said but this one seems especially if you don't want to mess with your mirrors or anything and and get the extenders and all that I think this would be a good choice four bolts and you put it on that's about it I would say going about 30 to 35 miles an hour like just casual like this you don't feel hardly any wind at all there's like a really nice dead space right here and you might feel a little bit up here on you don't really feel it when you got your helmet on so that's why I kind of like to just cruise around the back roads and the subdivisions 30 miles an hour 35 you could do this all day long man it's just nice there's no wind on you hardly at all so right now I'm riding with the windscreen and it's set at the highest position. And I'm gonna do a little bit of riding once I get to the main road up here. But like I said, I, I bought this windscreen to see if I could get a little more improvement on the, the wind, more so on the chest and the upper helmet area. I don't feel it too much, especially going at low speeds like this. I think it does a pretty nice job. There's a definitely a dead zone right here of wind. And like I said, once I get on the main road here, get a little bit faster, it's a lot easier to tell where that wind deadening area is. So again, this is in the highest position. I'm gonna get up to about 35, maybe 40. And if I hold my hand, there's definitely right here, there's no wind. It's really a dead zone. So I can start feeling the wind about right at almost the eye level right here. So what happens is you got that wind that almost like a tunnel effect. So if it's raining, and I've really never ridden in the rain yet, so that would be interesting, but these are designed to allow the rain to go up and over the head so you stay dry, at least on your torso. You might get a little wet on the top of the helmet. But yeah, about right here is where I kind of feel the wind. Yeah, pretty much eye level. Now this is what the windscreen at the very top left, the very top adjustment, going about 40 miles an hour. That does a pretty nice job. I don't feel any buffeting or anything. Never felt any of that. And for the most part, my whole torso is pretty much in a dead zone here. So it, that's pretty nice. But I purchased this windscreen off Amazon. And I've mentioned this before, at the time, I think I only spent like $39.99 or something for this windscreen that I have on here now. Now since then, it's almost, it's more than doubled in price. That's a nice house right there. But it's more than doubled in price, and I, I don't know why, maybe it's due to demand, the more and more of these ADVs that are being sold out there, especially in the country in this country of the usa maybe the windscreen has just gone up in price because of simply demand or simply due to economic factors like everything else in the world is going up right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here and i'm going to lower the windscreen get out of the traffic Let's see if i can do this i'm going to lower the windscreen you just simply pull out on these knobs and you lower it down now see that's that's at the lowest position now i'm curious to see what this feels like when i ride i've never really rid, ridden this bike believe it or not in the lower position like this <sighs> no cars let's see yeah right away i kind of feel more wind i can feel it right here and see now that wind going about 40 is about it's lower it's probably right hitting the camera 
and I feel it more in the chest. Now this is with the windscreen at the lowest position. Okay, 40 miles an hour, here we go. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But there's more around my chest. It seems like there's more wind around the shoulder area and the upper chest at this lower position. Okay, now I'm gonna raise it. Kinda of hard to do, there we go. Raise it to the highest position. Forty miles an hour. It does force the wind up a little bit higher. Not as much on the shoulder and upper chest, upper torso area. So there it is. I mean, that makes logical sense. With the windscreen down at the lowest position, the air is not forced up as high over the head. So why would you have an adjustable windscreen? Well, again, everybody's different. Everybody has a different size or length torso, right? So if you're if you're if you're a shorter person and you might get away with the, the, the screen at the lower position. I don't know. But they make it adjustable because there's obvious reason for that. Depending on the, the person, depending on personal preference, depending on how tall or short they are, you know. So it, it's nice to have that adjustable windscreen. I don't know how often I would use it because I, you know, it, it's you kind of set it at the, the height that you are, what works best. Now it could probably come in the factor if if maybe it was raining or something and you're trying to get a good um, compensation of wind and how it would force it over there so it's hard to say so this windscreen comes in four different color shades brown clear which i have here and i think they call it smoke and really what's nice i like the smoke look on the adv because whether you got a black one or a red one it really looks sharp the smoke colored one and the only reason i got the clear is because i'm a real stickler for being able to view the road i didn't want to have any like blockage of you know how you have tinted windows on a car sometimes especially in the, at night when you're driving at night it tends to uh like just black out everything so i got the clear even though i'm looking over it i get that it's not a huge deal, especially for me because I don't ride at night hardly ever. But I just chose clear because I just wanted the most visibility that I could get. And it's nice to be able to see, you know, the road and what you're weaving around and stuff. So that's why I did it. Not that it's a huge deal, like I said. And I do like the smoke look on the, on the windscreens, on the uh, ADVs, especially on the red ones. Some of you guys have the smoked color shield on the on the red ones and it looks really sharp gotta admit it looks really nice so again like anything else it's more of a personal preference now the yellow you can see on here you got that graphic stuff I don't know about I don't know why they made it yellow because it's interesting the only colors that I know of as far as the ADV are the black and silver like I have and starting in 2020 two i believe is the red so why they made yellow on there is kind of beyond me unless there's some you know in other countries maybe the adv is in a different color but i have not seen that but it would be nice if this color right here that's like yellow as you can see was maybe red that would be cool but it is what it is you really can't tell especially if you get farther away from it it's only when you get very close to this windscreen that you'd be able to see that yellow anyway. But these little these little holes and stuff that's in the sides and the bottom of the screen, I don't know if that's really an effective or more visual. But I have to say, there's no buffeting at all on this windscreen. So if these little holes here were designed to reduce buffeting, then yeah, they did a good job. It definitely works. 
So as the ADV becomes more popular out there, there's going to be more accessories available. I haven't found too many windscreens yet, just the one I'm talking about here, and I've seen some others. So I'm an Amazon influencer now. So what that means is anything I buy, I can list, I can have a storefront. So that Trek shop is anything I buy for this bike and you know anything else. So I have some categories. So what happens is if, you, if you're an Amazon influencer, if you recommend products and people click on them, and this is a free thing, it's pretty cool. People, you get a very small, tiny, tiny commission on anything people buy. So look, again, I have a day job. This is not my income. It's just something I do and it's free. So Amazon puts that out there for people and it's, it's brilliant. Amazon is a, an amazing company. So go to the Trek shop and you'll see different categories of anything that I personally recommend. And I just have to disclose that. So, hey, I did it. But So until next time, Trek on. That was a big spider. Okay. Well, that woke me up. So, a side note here. My gosh, it's raining. Or no, 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 it's not raining. That's just the wind, I think. So a side note here, if you crows, if you call them and if you crows like these peanuts, so I'm up at this park and I hear some crow calls going on and if you go to the same place every day and you supply these like peanuts like you'd find at the, like a ball game or something, like a baseball game, just the hard shell peanuts, I'm telling you what man, the crows will come back and they'll, they'll start to like just become your friend, I think. <laughs> I really hope nobody's walking around here. I probably think I'm a loony bin or something. So there you go. Now, feeling the wind through your hair, that's a personal preference, but there's actually a functional reason why companies put motor screen. And as this ADV becomes more. coming around it's coming around I shall name him Fred <laughs>